What's up, people? This is As Yet on the I Only Test Greatness podcast. So, last night, like, how did that just come about? Like, and did y'all know, like, did you even know that how big that was going to be at that moment whenever you first heard it? Yeah, we did. Because when we first when we first um got to California, what we did is we were given um what about five, six songs. Um, and so we what we did is we did all of the background to the song. We had, we didn't even um like sing any other stuff to we just sing the backgrounds and you know it was like okay, we're gonna come back to um, you know, work for them later. So <laughs> last night was actually the last song. That um that we did, but mm-hmm. we, but when we did it, it was like oh man, that's the one, and it wasn't even all, all the way written yet. Mm-hmm. So so it was just the, the vibe and the way it felt. But at the same time, we also uh, came back and did and put all the leads and stuff to the songs. Still, we knew hands off that was going to be last night, and <clears throat> that's what it was. Mm-hmm. It did it did what it was supposed to do, and um I'm not mad at that. Yeah, the uh, I was second, about to say because that whole single. album, yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, go that, ahead whole, that whole that whole album was good, and the second single also hard to see. I'm sorry, that was the one that I always loved growing <laughs> up as a kid. So I was, yeah. yeah, these chicks always be crazy back in the day. Uh, yeah. But you got a Grammy yeah. nomination. You got a Grammy nomination for that one too. Yeah, it, it allowed us to go, um, you know, mainstream, and so we basically. Went around the world quite a few mm-hmm. times and it kept us alive. I mean, I would have liked for another song to have come out, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> we still touched the world and, and everybody got to know who we were. So that's all we needed. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Care for me is one of my shits. I, I, hey. I kept playing. I was like, yo. Yo, just the way y'all bridged it and, and you, you know what I'm saying, just harmonized on there, like, mm-hmm. for real. Like, that's one of my favorites. Like, how, how is it like, you know, doing songs like that, like, Care For Me? For me, I never had a problem with any song. The pro- If there was ever a problem, it was um, me being underestimated <laughs> as the person that could actually live the song. And I'm like, if you don't know my voice, maybe I need to tell you. Maybe I need to show you. So I, there was a couple of um, incidents where I literally had to go in the studio without the actual company and do the, and do the song. And then when I did it, it was like, ah. Then it wasn't a question anymore. But, you know, a lot of people assume that everybody's supposed to sound alike. And, yeah, they were caught up on the and me, thing. You know, that. I was never trying to sound like anybody. You know, because we had a lot of songs that sounded like other songs because they were written by the same person. But, you know, I think our taste and our version of Last Night, it made it our song. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We, we didn't write the song, but I mean, we made it our song. And that, that was one of the things that um, I think Kenny liked about us the most was that we were already self-contained when we met him. So it wasn't like um, we couldn't deliver that at any time from anybody. And then we had the pleasure of working with um, um, Mervyn Warren, yeah. And I mean, that was right there. We we were already there because we used to uh, do a lot of take six stuff back in the day. So him, he was like the icing on the cake. And that was Kenny's suggestion. He was like, yeah, um, you know, I know y'all don't really need no nobody to give you harmony, but you know, it's just a, a better arrangement. Look. It was a better look because he's this <clears throat> arrangement's are crazy. Yeah. And, I, I, was yeah. about to, I was about to say, too, with that, you know what I'm saying, when, you know, when you singing, I, I always hear this, you know what I'm saying? Some people always say, oh, yeah, this person sound like this person. You'd be like, nah, until you actually see that person, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. have you always get mistaken, you know what I'm saying? And, and what do y'all feel like when y'all get mistaken by that? By what? Just when somebody tries to say that you sound like another uh, uh, another singer, but you sound like yourself. I, I see for me, I, I I never really get that because I always have, I do my own uh, set of impersonations and stuff anyway. So yeah, 
I'm just a walking tone baby. <laughs> because when I was younger, it's like if I if I could, if I couldn't deliver a song or sing it the way I heard it, then that means I, I needed to actually just find another way to do it. What was that? Turn the lights on. You know, I, I always say, you know, I always say that because you know some people always be you. You always got that one motherfucker who be like, "Yeah, hey, you sound like this person." I'm be like, "Yo, you, I sound like myself." I be like, right. you know. I always yeah. get it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody be like, oh man, you sound you sound like your, you know what I'm saying? You sound like uh, you know, like Donald Duck or some shit. I'd be like, I don't sound like Donald Duck, I sound like me. <laughs> you know what bad, me? Kind of a bad oh, example. Yeah. Bad example. Tenor, well, his tenor belongs to him. Yeah. And it is a unique oh, yeah. thing. Man, but, but here's the thing. Everybody, if you go back and look at, and really dive into it. Everybody sounds like somebody because you came up listening that's to right. all these people. You see what I'm saying? That's but it's what you do with it. And that's, that's what he's saying mm -hmm. about me. Is it, yeah. I sound like, a lot of times I sound like Charlie Wilson. Other times I'll mm -hmm. sound like uh, similar to uh, Dino from H-Town. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. Or but blend, it's not or blend it together. But I also have my own tone in there. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I just, as I listen to him a lot. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then it'll come out. So every, I mean, Mariah Carey, anybody. Yeah, was listening to somebody and there's some of that in there is what you do with it to make it your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep.